most common pepper nutrient deficiencies. It is crucial to understand that a plant nutrient deficiency does not necessarily mean that the soil is depleted. Plant deficiencies occur as a result of various environmental factors that lead to the plant's inability to absorb this nutrient. Thus, farmers should consider testing both soil and plant tissue before they apply any fertilizer to their plants. Nitrogen deficiency. Pepper plants with nitrogen deficiency express their problem with symptoms such as small and yellow leaves, decreased growth rate, fewer flowers, and decreased or zero fruit setting. Peppers that finally bear fruits produce deformed ones. High rainfall and excessive irrigation make things worse. Potassium deficiency. The symptoms of potassium deficiency appear most of the time with characteristic intervenal chlorosis. Older foliage may wit and turn brown and scorched. There is low fruit setting rate and the peppers are smaller than usual. Calcium deficiency. The most common symptom caused by calcium deficiency is blossom end rot. By this, we refer to a flat brown area at fruit's blossom end that may appear at any pepper development stage. The commercial value of the fruits decreases rapidly under such conditions. Blossom end rot is an ideal environment for secondary fungal infections. Magnesium deficiency. Magnesium deficiency is common to peppers and is most commonly expressed in older leaves. The most obvious magnesium deficiency symptom is the foliage discoloration while the veins remain green. Phosphorus deficiency. If phosphorus levels are low, we observe limited growth. The plant has difficulty in producing flowers and when it does, only one out of many turns into fruit. Leaves may turn yellow and wilt, while the fruits are usually underdeveloped and they have very few seeds. Common physiological disorders on peppers. Sun scald. Sun scald is caused by extended sun exposure to the fruits. Peppers develop a characteristic white area with thin, dried skin at the surface that is directly exposed to the sun. The cause of that anomaly is the low foliage to fruits ratio. Growth cracks. Growth cracks are injuries of the fruit caused by sudden and increased water intake, especially after a prolonged drought. Common pests and diseases. Pests. Liriomyza. Liriomyza sp is an insect that causes mines in many plants, including pepper. Adults puncture the leaves, stems and fruits and lay their eggs. After hatching, young larvae start to feed by the tissues causing characteristic white mines. The photosynthetic ability of the plants is often greatly reduced as the chlorophyll-containing cells are destroyed. Infected leaves may fall, exposing plant stems to wind action and the fruits to sun scald. The damage reduces the quality and the commercial value of the fruit. It has caused severe damage, especially in chili peppers in Mexico. Management is difficult, however, there are some precautionary measures to control the attack. It is crucial to make it very difficult for the pest to approach the plants. Some precautionary measures include traps and weed removal. Tetranicus. Tetranicus urticae is a tiny spider mite that attacks many crops, including peppers and tomatoes. This pest overwinters in leaf debris and attacks the plants during hot and dry weather conditions. Mites attack the foliage in order to feed, causing yellow discolorations or a characteristic bronze-brown wilt that resembles flame damage. We may also observe webs between the foliage. A common practice is to monitor the population using traps constantly. If the number is above the tolerable limits, then you may consider intervening only after consulting a local licensed agronomist. There are biological as well as chemical solutions on the market, which, of course, should always be used under good agricultural practices standards. Thrips. Thrips are tiny insects that damage pepper plants through holes they make on tissues in order to feed or lay their eggs. They overwinter on weeds or on plant debris, and when spring comes, they move to flowers where they feed by sucking nectar and pollen. This procedure may cause deformed flowers and blossom drop. Sweet pepper and chilies plant common diseases. Botrytis, gray mold. 
Gray mold is a serious disease of pepper plants caused by the fungus Botrytis cinerea. The pathogen is capable of surviving for long periods in the form of sclerotia. Infections are favored by high humidity levels, while wind and rain spread the spores from plant to plant. Symptoms may appear to all the overground parts of the plant. Symptoms include gray to brown lesions form at the edges of leaves. After a while, these lesions are covered in gray mold. The leaves wither and fall. The fungus proceeds into the stem causing death of seedlings. A characteristic symptom of infected fruits is white halos that develop on peppers. If the fruit is indeed infected, then it turns soft and water-soaked. Disease control begins with proper precautionary measures. These include weed control and safe distances between plants. The general condition of the plants can also boost their immunity. We can use chemical treatment only if the problem is severe and always under supervision from a local licensed agronomist. It is also crucial to use proper sanitation, such as tools disinfection every time we touch the plants. Alternaria, early blight. Alternaria is a serious disease caused by the fungus Alternaria solani. The fungus overwinters on crop debris, seeds or weeds and is spread through the air, water, insects and farming tools. Alternaria infects pepper plants at different stages of their development. Unfortunately, Alternaria may cause fruit rot even after harvest. Septoria leaf spot. Septoria is a foliage disease caused by the fungus Septoria lycopersici. The pathogen is favored by rainy weather and attacks the leaves. It causes dark spots which resemble bacterial spot and alternaria lesions. Unfortunately, the pathogen may remain in the soil after the crop is harvested, as it can survive on common weeds such as Solanum carolinense. Late Blight Phytophthora capsici Phytophthora is a soil-borne disease that infects almost all plant parts, leading eventually to the death of the plant. Symptoms most commonly appear on the roots and stem. The disease then affects the leaves. As they wilt, the plant gradually gets defoliated and collapses. Fruit lesions may also appear as water-soaked areas. Fruits are then covered with white powdery mold. Unfortunately, the pathogen may overwinter in the soil for over 10 years. Pepper fruits can become infected when rain and overhead irrigation splash infested soil onto emerging fruits. Anthrocnose. Anthrocnose is another common disease of the pepper plant. It is caused by the fungi Colletotricum sp. Infection often occurs during warm and wet weather. The pathogen may infect all plant parts. However, we observe symptoms most easily on ripened fruits. The pathogen may infect immature fruits as well, but symptoms are not visible on them. Symptoms on ripened peppers appear as circular lesions that periodically enlarge, sunken and merge together. Under optimum humidity and temperature levels, fungus spores in pink salmon color appear. Unfortunately, the pathogen can survive in seeds. Thus, it is essential to use pathogen-free seeds. Downy mildew. Downy mildew is a common greenhouse pepper disease caused by the fungi Peronospora tabacina. Symptoms appear on the upper surface of the leaves in the form of yellowish-green spots. Under conditions of high humidity in the respective areas, we observe blue to violet eruptions on the lower surface of the leaves. Heavily infected leaves die and fall. Defoliation makes the plants useless and leads to heavy crop losses. Powdery mildew. Levelula torica is the most common fungi species that causes powdery mildew to peppers. We may observe white powdery mildew of fungal mycelium on the upper surface of the leaves. Symptoms may also include green chlorotic angular lesions on the upper surface of the leaves. We must always disinfect our tools after we have handled an infected plant in order to prevent the infection from spreading to healthy plants. Unfortunately, the pathogen has a very wide host range. An inoculum from one host plant species can cross-infect other host plants. In California, powdery mildew inoculum can come from crops such as onion, cotton, tomato, all varieties of peppers and some weeds.